If you use any of Adobe's Creative Cloud suite of services, you know that an addition to whatever program you're using, it installs a few annoying utilities. My name is Adullah, you're watching Canada Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix Adobe genuine service alerts that keep popping up telling you your programs aren't genuine. So the first thing that you need to do is actually surprisingly simple. You can just uninstall the Adobe Genuine service. How to do this? Well, press Windows key plus X to open the quick access menu and click on installed apps. Windows settings will open up and in this, you will be able to find your Adobe Genuine service. I don't have this on my system because I've already removed it and it was a tough nut to get over. But uh, you can just find it in the in this list. Go all the way to the other end. Click on these three dots. Click on uninstall. Windows will ask you if you actually want to uninstall it, which we do because we know what we're doing. So go ahead, click uninstall and the service would be deleted. And honestly, that's all you should need to do uh, because that should just fix the problem. If that doesn't fix the problem, what you can do is that you can disable the Adobe Genuine service in Windows services. So. Just open up the start menu and search for services. Click the first result that shows up. Now in here, there are actually a ton of services that you will see. You should see Adobe service right somewhere here in the A bit. Uh, I will use the NADS service as an example. So if you see the Adobe genuine service running here, just right click it. Uh, you can either just stop it from here, but I'll take you one step ahead. Click on properties under startup type. Just make sure you select disabled and if the service is running, you can use the stop button to stop it right away. From this point onwards, the set uh, the service shouldn't automatically boot up. And since you've already stopped it here, it shouldn't give you any more annoying pop ups. Finally, you can also try manually removing the service if that can help you out. So the first step to that is pressing Windows key plus X and heading over to the task manager. Now, once the task manager opens up, make sure you're uh, going by the name of services that you're using. Uh, scroll down a little and you will see the Adobe uh, service. It's called AG AGC service, if I'm not wrong, or AGS service, whatever it is. AGS service.exe, that's a process that would be running. Find it, select it. For example, let's take this as an example. Select it, right click and then click on end task. This will uh, stop the service from running so now you can go and uninstall the service from your system. So once you've stopped the service, uh, go ahead and open the Windows File Explorer. Um, head over to the C drive and here we are going to go to Program Files or Program Files x86. Then uh, there should be a common folder here. If you don't see it, head over to Adobe, Common and uh, you should see the Adobe GCC client folder here. This is where Adobe installs all of its common services that it uses across uh, different uh, aspects. This is the URL if you've installed it in the, if you've installed Creative Cloud in its default uh, place, otherwise it will be wherever you've installed Creative Cloud. Just select that folder here, delete it permanently, and that should fix the annoying pop-ups that you get from the Adobe Genuine service. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.